everyone welcome back to another vlog I know we've been slacking on our vlog game a little bit lately but we're just trying to slowly get back into it while we're dealing with moving and just getting settled here it's been a lot <laughs> but today I am here vlogging taking my camera around with me for the day and today's actually going to be a crazy very interesting day so I can't believe it, but me and Steven's one year anniversary is coming up in two days, three days, I think. I can't believe it's already been a year. It feels like our wedding was just a few weeks ago. It has flown by this first year. So to kind of commemorate our one year anniversary, I thought it would be fun to wear my wedding dress for an entire day and I'm filming a video of it over on my main channel so I will link that in the description when it's live. So I'm just gonna like run around in my wedding dress like you know do silly things just probably go to Target maybe go to the beach I don't really know but I really wanted to like vlog on my second channel to show you guys like actually getting into the wedding dress because the main channel video is starting like when I actually am in the dress for the rest of the day. But like my dress is still over at my parents' house, so I have my hoop skirt here because I have like a big puppy skirt that went under my dress since I had like a big ball gown. And my mom actually is gonna be home so that she can help me get into it because there's so many buttons up the back that like I could not do it myself, there's no way. So I did a little bit heavier makeup today than I typically do. I stopped wearing foundation about a year and a half ago and I started just wearing the Bare Minerals powder but since this is like my wedding dress video, I figured I would do a little bit more of like a heavy foundation look. So I'm wearing my Tarte Shape Tape foundation. I've got some contour, blush, highlighter, did some darker eye makeup than usual. So I'm switching it up a little bit. And my hair is super curled. I'm going to like pin it half back like that, like I did for my wedding day. But I'm not gonna do that until later to give the curls a chance to fall a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I think it's time to head over to my parents' house, say goodbye to the dogs, and get this weird day started. Bye guys, I see you later. Oh, you're so precious, look at you. Look at you, sit. Good girl. Okay, bye guys, bye. Bye, I love you, bye. I am over at my parents' house now, as you can see, the bright blue walls of my childhood, my teenage years. But I'm about to unzip and look at my dress, and I actually haven't even looked at it since the wedding day, much less tried it on, so let's, let's unzip the bag. All right, let's see this dress from Alfred Angelo, which went out of business shortly after I picked up my dress, literally like a week later. There it is, just the way I remember it. The little mesh sleeves and the, the lace bodice. I'm gonna lay it out on the bed. There it is, my wedding dress. Mom, can you believe it's been a year? I cannot believe it's been a year. I know, I'm excited to wear it. I hope it fits. I think I've gained like three or four pounds since then, so nothing drastic. So hopefully it fits. All right, here it is, my wedding dress. This is so weird, I can't believe it was a year ago. It pretty much fit, there was just one little part we couldn't zip up, so my mom pinned the bustle above it so you can't see it, so it basically fits. <laughs> is this bringing you back, mom? Definitely bringing me back. Maybe you should wear your mother of the bride dress and come run around the city with me. Yeah, I'm busy, thanks. <laughs> This will probably be the last time I wear this dress because I think after today I'm gonna get it cleaned and donate it because I feel like it's better to let someone else have use of it than to let it sit in my closet till I'm 40. So <laughs> instead of getting it preserved, I wanted to keep it so that I could do, I've had this video idea in my mind literally since before I got married. So I think after today I'll get it cleaned and donate the dress. <sighs> this was such a great dress. <laughs> Uh, I just feel happy in this, right? Like how can you, it's like that episode of Friends, yeah, remember? Where they, all where they all get in their wedding dresses and eat ice cream. Maybe that's what I'll do at the end of the day. <laughs> my videographer Ruben just got to the door, so I'm gonna answer it in my wedding dress. Hello. 
Back to uh, I don't know. A year ago to well, a year ago Saturday. I know my spin. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting day. Come on in. So I was gonna try to drive my car, but literally, guys, I have so much skirt and tool that it was like honestly dangerous if I would have driven because I did not have like room for my hands. So my videographer Ruben is going to drive us for the day, and I will be in shotgun. <laughs> like literally, look at all this skirt. It fills up the entire passenger seat. At least it's got like cushioning for the camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> It'll keep it safe. All right, it is quite a few hours later. Ruben and I are at Taco Bell. Mm. I'm still in my wedding dress. I got some nachos. Ruben got a loaded griller. Can Wait, see them? oh, hold on, let me turn the camera. <laughs> hold on, oh my gosh. Talk about sponsor her, please. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> oh, I really should have had like Taco Bell sponsor my wedding. Yeah, that would have been great. Been great. Like, <laughs> imagine our tacos. For oh, didn't like Colleen Ballinger do that for her wedding? Did she really? Yeah, I think it was sponsored by Taco Bell, Why or at least Taco invited? Bell like gave them free stuff. But I must out. Yo, I don't want to give anything away because this was like the coolest thing ever and I want you guys to see it in the main channel video. But as you can tell by my hair, I definitely did something that made it a little bit messy and it was the coolest. Ruben got the coolest footage. Yes, I had so great. the best time. Thank you. It was wonderful and amazing and I am a little bit sad that I'm gonna be changing out of my wedding dress because it just makes me happy being in it. Maybe I'll make this a tradition, you know? Wear it once a year. Oh wait, no, because I'm gonna donate it after this. So. I'll just have to enjoy my last few moments on the drive home in my wedding dress. I'm also really bummed because I wanted Steven to see me in the wedding dress since obviously, you know, it would like bring us back to the wedding day, but he's actually gonna be working until like 8 or 9 p.m. tonight. He has a big, big project going on at work. I don't feel really like sitting around in my wedding dress for three hours doing nothing because as much as I love it, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. So Ruben and I are gonna head back to my parents' house. I'm gonna get changed and then uh, go home and do some editing. Well. This was a crazy fun day, and I'm, you know, I'm a little uncomfortable in the dress, but not too bad, and definitely a little sad to take it off, especially since I'm never gonna wear it again. I'm gonna donate it today. Well, not today, but after today. <laughs> so, goodbye to my beautiful wedding dress. You were wonderful. <sighs> Let's take this off. All right, I am back home. I spent about the past hour editing, doing a rough cut of the video from today. Originally, I was planning on posting something else tomorrow and posting this video in like a week, but I had so much fun filming it. I kind of just want to get it up, so I think I'm gonna edit it. Edit it all tonight and actually post it tomorrow, which I like never do. I usually film pretty far out in advance, so it's exciting. <laughs> I'm so nerdy about like YouTube and editing and video schedules. I just love it. I love it a lot. Um, so I am drinking my little truly these are it's like a like alcoholic lacroix is the way i would describe it it's like sparkling water with that really like slight hint of flavor but it doesn't have i think it doesn't have a lot of sugar it has like one gram of sugar in the entire can this has been my new favorite since the river trip because jordan and megan brought those and that's pretty much what i drank the entire weekend <laughs> also steven was supposed to make dinner tonight he was going to make one of our blue aprons but I'm sure you guys have heard about the California fires and one just popped up right over by his work. He's totally safe and fine and the fire is pretty small and well contained, but that means that he can't leave work because the roads are like completely blocked off. So he's trapped at work, which I guess is good for productivity, but bad for our time together and him making dinner. So I am making what has become one of my new favorite meals, which thanks to Skylar and Kyle, I have gotten into nutritional yeast. It sounds gross, cause like yeast, like ugh, but it's so yummy. It's vegan, but it makes everything taste like really like cheesy and creamy. So what I have been loving lately is just mixing in some of the nutritional yeast and some garlic with whatever veggies I have laying around. So whether it's green beans or broccoli or like a veggie medley bag, whatever frozen veggies I have, I just heat it up in a saucepan add the nutritional yeast and the garlic and then serve it over either brown or white rice. It's been really yummy and it's really quick. Like tonight I have a lot of editing to do so I don't have time to make a really complex dinner but also I wanna make sure it's healthy. And so this is healthy, I get my fiber, I get some protein 
and uh, it'll power me through the rest of my evening of editing. Also, I don't know if I told you guys this, but um, since Steven and my anniversary is on Saturday, day after tomorrow, you know, it's our first anniversary, so it feels like we should, you know, go do something, get a hotel or something. And we thought a lot about it, and we talked a lot about it, and we just decided that we have this beautiful new home that feels like an Airbnb to us in some ways still. So why leave? Why go somewhere else? So we are actually gonna be having a little date night in on our one year anniversary, which I am very excited about. So I think we're gonna go down to the beach in like the early afternoon. We actually, the our anniversary this Saturday is the day that we officially move out of our apartment. Obviously we've been moved out of there for a while, but it's the day that we officially like hand over the keys, sign all the paperwork. So we'll do that in the morning and then we'll go to the beach and then we'll have a nice little night in. So I got some wine, we've got a fun recipe to make and I'm just looking forward to getting through this editing night and getting through tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be another editing day so that we can enjoy our time together on Saturday, our one year. I can't believe it's already almost been a year. What was I doing exactly one year ago today? I'm going to put a card for that vlog because I know I was vlogging. I think that was the day that I went and got all of my like beauty treatments done. So I got like a spray tan, I got my nails done, I got my eyebrows waxed. Wait, did I get a spray tan? No, I don't think I did. But anyways, I got like all my little things done. So it's crazy that that was a year ago. I was just so like, so ready for the wedding to happen and it really was just the best day. I love looking back on it. I haven't watched the wedding video in a while, so maybe maybe I'll hold off and Steven and I will do that on Saturday. That'd be fun. So when I mix in the nutritional yeast with the green beans, originally it looks a little bit flaky, but with like the heat and the water in the pan, it makes it like creamy. Like it literally tastes like someone put cheese all over it. <laughs> Add in just an absolute crap ton of garlic. I love garlic. I think it is so yummy. I know some people don't, but I will put garlic on anything. And garlic's actually pretty good for your gut health. So I don't feel guilty about it either. Some nutritional yeast, some garlic, and these are good to go. Already in my pajamas, but I've got about a quarter cup of uncooked rice, so that makes about a half cup of rice, about three servings of green beans, and just a pinch of salt on top of that, of course, mixed in with the garlic and the nutritional yeast. Oh man, that is yummy, 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 and makes me feel better. After that not so healthy lunch, I feel like I need like, a detox meal and garlic especially is really good for like ma making you recover from a bad meal so I always try to put a little bit of extra garlic in something after I've had like like a yucky meal I don't like to say cheat meal because I'm not cheating there's nothing to cheat against I I don't limit myself with food I am really careful to make sure that I don't go down that slippery slope but uh, a meal that's not as healthy <laughs> I guess I like to counterbalance it with something like this that's simple and quick and yummy. All right, it is about 10.30. I just finished editing the video. It actually did not take me nearly as long as I thought. I thought I was gonna be up till like midnight or one at least, like possibly an all-nighter, but it was honestly pretty easy to edit. That was only, what, five hours? Five and a half hours, including the break that I took for dinner, which was like 45 minutes. <laughs> so I'm very happy with that. I'm actually going to edit this vlog tonight. Like I said earlier, we have really been slacking on our vlog game, and I'm sorry about that. So I'm gonna try to be more on top of that just vlogging more and editing the vlogs right after we film them so I don't get overwhelmed with the editing and then decide not to vlog. Steven also finally got home from work with the fires and everything so he has been playing video games. Let's go check on him. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Relaxing. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this fan off. It's real loud. Are you having fun with your games? I know you had a long long day at work Steven got to work at like 5 a.m. This morning 14 hour day. Oh my gosh, but do you want to tell the vlog the good news? But I had a thing at work today and it went very well And that's where I'm gonna leave it at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there could be something exciting coming because of that but he doesn't want to say it until it's official. So, you guys don't get to know yet. I'm sorry. Do you realize this is the first vlog we've done at home since we moved in? It's been like a three week break. It's been a while. I know. Honestly, I was thinking about this. Like, we haven't. I feel like since we moved in, we haven't had a day. I know. I've been so busy. You've been so busy. Like, we haven't had a day. Like, we haven't touched unpacking. Yeah, there's it's been still like a lot three weeks to unpack. Of limbo of like, home, hi, wife dinner and okay there's an hour and i'm not gonna do anything and oh next day 
well, that literally made no sense. I think what Steven's trying to say is we have both weeks. been very busy, so we've pretty much only been seeing each other at night late when I'm finishing up with my work, he's finishing up with his work. Yeah. But our anniversary is on Saturday, and tomorrow we are going to see the apartment for the last time, and Sunday is going to be a cleaning and unpacking day. So we are gonna kind of get back into a normal routine, which I'm happy about. I hope. Until next week when it gets even crazier, because exciting things are coming, and I can't say more than that. Wow, What's crazy? we're being What's really- What's happening for you next week? Hmm? Oh, is that a secret? Yes. But you talked about it on your Instagram. Yeah, they know something exciting's coming, but they don't know all the if details. If you've seen Sierra's Instagram, you know what she just whispered in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, the incentive for you guys to follow me on Instagram. All right, well, I think this is where we're gonna end the vlog, and yeah. I will see you guys. We're gonna vlog tomorrow and the next day, so we will see you guys then. Bye. Bye.